Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a warn command. It's pretty simple. You would type warn, uh, the player's username, and then a like a UI will like kind of like slide its way onto the screen and be and it'll be like, um, you have been warned. It's that simple. But yeah. So first, um, I guess first we'll make the UI first. We're just gonna we're gonna do something real real simple. So let's head on over to starter GUI and insert a screen GUI. And then let's go ahead and name this Warren GUI. Then we'll insert, all we need is a text label. So text label, then you could call this Warren text label. Okay, it's nice both text label. Warren text label. And then you could create the text, make it bold and everything. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't have to do this, but yeah. Uh, I guess I'll make like the background like a dark gray, I guess. But yeah, all right. So we're gonna default by default. We're gonna make sure it is not enabled, right? And then we are going, or you could just make have it enabled, but then just make the text label not visible. And then we can pretty much actually. Hold on, let me enable this real quick. Um, the way I want to do this is I want to have it so it like kind of slides over, like slides over, so like the player notices it. So we'll insert a server script here. It's a server script service. Call this warn script, delete print hello world, and then uh, do game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put plr, which is for the player. Then press enter, then do plr dot chatted colon connect function in parentheses put msg, which is short for the message. Then we'll do we'll make a variable local first word is equal to string dot sub uh, one so six so message one comma six right we will do if first word is equal to one wait oh shit wait wait i'm sorry <laughs> my fault guys my fault i'm at five i'm this kind of anyway all right enter and then we are going to get the player's user user we're going to do local user is equal to string dot sub message and then we'll count everything seven and after and then we are going to get all the children of the players by doing four i comma v in pairs game dot players call and get children do if v sorry if v dot name is equal to user then now normally i would just keep this in starter gui but what i kind of like I don't want to clog up because like obviously like I only have one GUI here, but in an actual game you would have a lot of GUIs. So I feel like it's probably best to keep it some like server storage, I guess. So maybe I just have it or in like replicated storage because it's not really that important. So um, I guess what I'll do is I'll just duplicate, yeah, and then I'll just destroy it every time. So yeah, okay. So let's go up here and let's make a variable. Local one GUI is equal to game the replicated storage dot one GUI. Or actually, can replicate a storage, wait for child, one GUI is probably better. But yeah, then pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone one GUI. Local one GUI clone is equal to one GUI clone. And then you would just parent the clone to uh, the player's GUI. This would not have to fill, by the way, player's GUI. Um, actually, we gotta do a few things real quick. So, first, make sure it's enabled and visible since we're cloning it. And then also you can already you you can automatically set the text since it'll say the same thing no matter what. You have been warned. Right. Um and then after you do that, uh let me see. Oh yeah, and then we want to destroy it. So I guess like five seconds. I think five seconds is good. And then you'll just destroy it. But I actually forgot because where we want it to tween. So um let me move it over change this positioning i think if i do uh negative two i think or actually wait negative zero point five what does it look like okay oh negative zero point two that's what it is okay so pretty much what i'll do is okay never mind we'll do this actually we'll kind of do what i already said we were going to do so this will be the default. Like you, you obviously can't see it. It's a little bit to the left. We are going to tween it by doing okay. So once we moved it over, 
then going to get the text label dot clone dot uh, I don't get what you know never mind one at text label I guess it's just more out of anyway lay I spelled that wrong label tween position and then uh damn I forgot what, what is the first thing is it tween position oh all we gotta do you we put the coordinates to where we want it to go and then the time no time to last alright okay so we wanted to move over so the player can see it so I guess no no not one uh let's try this not zero point two zero point zero point zero maybe zero point zero damn okay maybe okay now that's good so this would be the position that we're trying to move it towards okay this is pretty much what we're trying to do we want it to move over to this position we'll delete the special brackets we want we want it to move over to this specific spot um i'm gonna have to play a guessing game not gonna lie uh i think it's easing style first or yeah i think it's easing easing style first i feel like i have that wrong but if it don't matter we could just change it after then out and then time i guess like like one second yeah i want it to be like one second i guess and then yeah okay then that should be good and then I can just set it back to what it originally was. So change this back to negative 0 0.2. And then at the end, we will do the opposite. Set it back to where it was. So negative 0 0.2. Put in and then do weight 1. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so we should be good now. So if I just move this back to replicated storage, um, it might give me an error. Not gonna lie, it might give me an error because I think I might have wrote it in the wrong order. But we will see. Born spy J nineteen. Yeah, I never test token to token. It's mm. weird. Okay, hold on. Born G Y text label. Let me just see what it looks like. Transition. So it is. Oh, so see, I knew it was direction. Okay. But I did do okay, so I did this part right. Warren takes a little while. Yeah, okay. Alright. So I had it in the wrong order, which I honestly thought. All we gotta do is just delete that and then just move it over here. And put a comma. And then just do the same thing down here. Delete that comma. Go over here. Comma. Okay. Now we should we should be good. All right, let's test warn spy J19. There we go. You have been warned and then wait for it. It'll go away. There it goes and boom. And then it is no longer a part of my GUI. There you go, that simple. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. If you guys need any help, uh, just, let me, just let me know in the comments. Of course, the script will be in the description as always and stuff. I appreciate you guys for watching. Yeah, I'll see you guys.